What do you need an Apple Watch for? Why would you spend that kind of money for a smartwatch? I already have a phone that does the same thing. These are all things that I hear about the Apple Watch. I'll share with you my top 10 everyday Apple Watch uses. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love tech and seeing what it can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. I wanted to make this video because there's all different thoughts on the Apple Watch. There's those that love it, there's those that hate it, and there's those like I used to be that just think it's okay. I used to consider this one of the least necessary Apple devices to own. I was wrong. The more I use mine, the more value I've found in it. Let's look at 10 everyday uses, counting down to my number one favorite use. Stay tuned to the end for a bonus use. Number 10 would be hands-free operation. Hey, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and counting. Send Cheryl a text. What do you want to say? Testing out dictation on my Apple Watch for a video. Okay. I'll send this. Sometimes it's convenient just to use your voice. With newer generations of Apple Watch, you could just lift your wrist and start talking. This is great for smart home control, texting, and so much more. With all generations, you could press the side button and speak to Siri. Remind me tomorrow at 8 a.m. to publish my video. Done. Since I'm into smart home tech, the smart home control is awesome. Hey Siri, office off. Office off, coming right up. Number nine would be setting timers. I find that I use timers all the time. I use them to remind me of things like get the laundry out, timers for when I'm cooking, or when I need to leave somewhere. You could use your voice, you could go into the timer app, or put a complication on your watch face to access it quickly. For those of you that don't know what complications are, they're basically icons for apps that you can put on watch faces. Some watch faces have no complications or just a couple. Others like the one that I use have quite a few. This face is so helpful for getting to the apps I use frequently. Number eight is maps. The maps on the watch can serve two purposes. First, if you set a map on your phone, it'll show you the direction on the watch face. It will also let you know when turns are coming up with a haptic tap or vibration on the wrist. This is great for using your phone to set the directions and then putting the phone back in your pocket. The second way to use the watch is to do a search right on the watch. You can open the map app, do a search, look through your favorites and see your most recent places. The third way to bring up maps is by using your voice and Siri. Directions to the Apple store. Which Apple store? I'm telling you, using voice and the watch is awesome. Number seven is using it for mail. The Apple Watch is great for receiving notifications. I really like being able to see my mail at a glance to see if it's something I need to deal with. How many times have you felt your phone vibrate and you pull out your phone to see what it is. This makes it easy to look down at your wrist and decide if you wanna deal with it or even delete it right then. You can also reply to emails right from the mail app on the watch. Personally, I'm not too interested in that, but it is an option to explore. This is not on my list because it ties into all different apps, but the Apple Watch is great for seeing notification from your apps. You get notifications for emails, messages, calendar events, and so much more. The notifications copies your phone notifications unless you change the settings for the watch. I will say definitely turn off notifications you don't wanna see or it may get annoying similar to having too many notifications pop up on your phone. Number six is phone calls. Unless I have my AirPods paired to my watch, I'm not interested in having a full on conversation from my watch, but I find it's great for when I'm busy doing something, get a call and do not want to try to pull my phone out. I've answered calls multiple times from my wife while doing dishes or something else where I don't want to be touching my phone. I do that thing with the watch where you try to touch it in a way that you don't get the screen all wet. You know that little slide with the knuckle so I can answer the call. You've been there, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not on the watch, but you've done it with your phone. Oops, phone ring. Number five is reminders. I use reminders a lot to keep track of things I need to get done. Power tip here, I create a shopping list of reminders that I share with my wife. Now my wife and I can add things to the reminders list as we think of them. So there's no excuses for not putting what you need from the store on the shopping list. I then go through the store with my cart, use my Apple Watch, and check things off on the list as I go. 
Really convenient using the Reminders app. Number four is calendars. Life can get busy, especially when you have kids and all their activities. It's good to be able to look down and see what's next on my calendar. Right now, I see it's 3 p.m. tennis over at the high school for my daughter. Or using the calendar to get a notification when it's almost time to make that phone call or leave for that appointment. Number three is a big one for me these days and goes nicely with number two. It is being able to listen to podcasts audiobooks, or music. If you pair Bluetooth headphones or earbuds, you can listen to audio right from the watch. I'm able to download an audiobook from Audible, my Apple Music playlist, or one of my favorite podcasts. Now I don't have to be tied to my phone for any of these things. If you have a cellular Apple Watch, you can even stream podcasts and music straight from your watch. My number two most used feature is kind of a combination. It's the activity, workout, and heart sensor in it. With the iPhone and Apple Watch, you can keep track of your activity that you do throughout the day. This is great for encouraging you to stand more, move more, or exercise more. There's a saying, that which can be measured can be improved. If you see your activity, it can help you increase or adjust your fitness goals. I use the workout app all the time while I'm out hiking or while I'm running on my treadmill. The workout app is great for distances and helping me finish that extra mile. For me, the heart rate sensor keeps me in that right zone when exercising. Going back to the activity app, seeing how far you've walked or for how long can really help encourage you to do more. It is crazy though that this watch has an ECG or electrocardiogram function. This has saved lives by detecting irregular heartbeats. A smart device that can potentially save your life is an awesome feature. Another thing that could save you is fall detection. So if you were hurt, it could send for help. Pretty cool that people's lives have been saved from using an Apple Watch. Next to exercise, my number one favorite use is messages. The Apple Watch is great for being notified if you have a text or a message. Is that a text? saying UPS is dropping off a package later today or my wife that has something important to tell me. It's great being able to just look down, see what the message is and not have to be able to pull the phone out. What's cool beyond reading messages is being able to respond to them. Within messages you have three options to respond. There's dictation, there's scribble to write out a response, or you can pick one of the pre-written responses for a quick reply. As a fan of using voice, I love dictating responses. It takes a little getting used to at first, but voice dictation is fast and impressively accurate. I do recommend not listening to a podcast in the background while dictating. I've had some weird messages go out because of my voice and the voice of the podcast being interpreted by the watch. So careful. But overall, responding from the watch is so quick and easy. Now, the bonus use for the Apple Watch is Apple Pay. I use Apple Pay and Apple Wallet all the time. I use my Starbucks card to pay for a coffee or a credit card through Apple Pay at a grocery store. Now, I don't use it much on the watch, but you can double press on the side button and it will pop up your credit cards from your wallet right there. Tap the card you want, put it next to the reader, bada bang, bada boom. You're done paying. Apple Pay on your phone is quicker than pulling out a credit card. Not having to pull out your phone is even quicker. There you go, my top 10 everyday uses. If you own an Apple Watch, what is your favorite use? If you don't own one, what use sounds interesting to you? Next, make sure to check out this video over here to take a look at one of my favorite uses for Apple's HomePod. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.